Ian Traders, Privateer FX, starting a new week, 27 November, last week of November. We dip into the first day of December on Friday. Four more weeks of the trading year. Let's make the best of it. We'll start with a quick look at this dollar yen chart. Uh, it's somewhat interesting that we could not get over the 200 day moving average at 111.71. A lot of people are going to look at this bar here and say, oh shit, doji. But I want to remind everyone this was on Thanksgiving. So it was a low volatility, low volume day. This probably does not mean indecision. This probably just means there wasn't a whole lot of shit going on. So the power of this bar is reduced because it was on Thanksgiving. In general today we're looking uh, to sell Aussie Yen and Kiwi Yen. Dollar Yen is part of that component so we'll just look at it. As long as dollar yen stays below this 200 day moving average, uh, we want to quietly be left hand side. We don't see any big volatility spikes through any levels. Down here at 111, we should see some buying. Uh, certainly at 110.84, which is a gap fill from September still, there will be buying. So we're looking for a grindy, rangy move down in dollar yen. Same can be said for Aussie. Aussie's a little bit interesting in a sense that the whole world's getting very bearish. And the housing article in Bloomberg and the rates articles all around and the doomsday scenarios from Goldman. Uh, the day all that came out we had three big up days which is very typically FX. Screw a lot of uh, weak shorts and people who are just blindly putting shit on without really thinking about where they were going to stop. Um, the high and all that was 76.38 and it really did not go well through 76.25. So now we've printed sort of an inside day but a red day on Friday and today we've now plunged back into the, wouldn't say plunged, but moved back into the range. We do not think this is going to make a new high today. We do think this is going to trickle down lower. There are reasons to be short Aussie. Chinese equities are also not, not doing too well recently, so there's, that could be a story going forward. But anyway, this all translates into kind of lower Aussie yen. So... Just look at today's high, 85.01. We're basically sellers right around here between 70 and the figure. We think this is probably going to make a new low or at least test 50 today. So core short Aussie Yen is the call. What else is out there? Take a look at these S&Ps. Had a moderately bullish day, which is very typical the day after Thanksgiving, half a day trading. Printed that 2603 high. Some would argue there's some bullish engulfing here. But again, keep in mind this was Thanksgiving. This bar here doesn't mean anything in the candlestick world. So I would not call that bullish engulfing, I would just call that mildly bullish. Nothing really to do here, uh, just pointing it out. Cable was slightly interesting on Friday. We did have an up move that followed the euro up move. Printed a 62 high. Not a whole lot to do here, but I want to just remind everybody this daily line, this incredibly important daily line, which encompasses the Brexit bullshit and basically is a line drawn from 2014, is now getting very, very close. Bears, you want to sell against this line? CTAs and Break traders, you want to buy through it. So, 34.40 today. Going to be news driven either way. Got to keep your eye on the news and keep your eye on the price. Uh, write your plan down whether you're a bull or a bear. I personally will be buying through that line. Um, 
We'll see. Something to keep in mind for this week for basically the rest of the year. Seems to me there's a good chance this breaks. Of course, I have that bias, so I like to break trade better than fade. But just just a little warning sign that's in play. On the shorter term time frames, here's our sterling yen chart. 147.67 today is kind of the important low. You could argue there's some sort of funky head and shoulders here. Here's our head, long shoulder. But we don't see it as too important. Euro yen caught a lot of people yet on Friday. Well, that was incredibly stupid, that move. But we don't really care about Euro yen at 132.80, but we do want to keep the 131. 20 level or 131.18 level in the books. Be ready to pull triggers down there. And also 134.50. This range now is incredibly well defined. We're right smack in the middle of it, so nobody cares. But let's not forget the edges because this is where the money is made. What else? Let's check out Dollar Czar. Love selling a bit of Zuma. Uh, the four hour highs were 15 here. Let's look at the dailies. Everyone's downgrading Czar. I think S&P took it to junk. This is probably a break trade. But you also need a little bit more news. This big bar here is sort of the S&P junk bar. But typically, if you look at after big days in dollars R, it usually does a pretty usually does a second big-ish day and then kind of comes back and screws a few people but you probably expect this at the European Open to zip a bit higher I don't trade Czar much just a spectator sport for me but um, that's a level to keep in mind alright I've said enough today uh, I will see you guys in New York Open good luck and talk to you later Cheers.